Well, that ain't good. As you guys can tell, it is raining outside right now. My boat's all covered up and everything. I actually gotta get my rods out of there. We are going fishing today, but I do have to change clothes. So let's go ahead, get on our rain gear right now. All right, and we're good to go. Got on our car heart, let's go fishing. Okay, we're just rolling the GoPro now because it's starting to come down a little bit harder. But these are the two baits I've got. We've got this grub on here, twirl tail grub. Also got this little spinner bait. We're gonna try these out, see what we can get. I'm gonna start down here in this corner because there should be some water flowing in here. And also the wind is pushing down towards it. So it should be pretty good. Try a little spinner bait first. Get a little spinner bait action going. Oh my gosh, I just had one grab it. I just had one grab it. Hold on, we gotta throw this in here. That was a little one. We gotta throw the little grub in here, see if he'll hit it. One did grab it right there. I know that he did. I saw him grab it. They should eat this. Come on now. What's the issue? Yes, sir. First one. First one. Yes, sir. That was so weird. Oh, my gosh. I was not expecting that. That fish, like, hit it while I was, like, kind of hung, but not hung at the same time. Very weird. He's been caught before. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Stop biting lures, buddy. But first fish today. Not a bad... Not a bad little bass. Go ahead and get him back in. That was a crazy bite. I thought that that fish was a giant. Literally thought he was a giant. Well, that's the first one on the spinner bait. So let's go ahead and see if we can catch another one. I gotta adjust my reel. I think they're gonna munch today, but it's just finding where these fish are and getting the lure in front of their face. I think there's potential to catch a big one today, but we just gotta find him. Let's throw this bad boy right here around a little bit. Oh my, I just got smoked. I just got smoked. That felt like a dang freight train. Oh my goodness. Felt like a freight train. Are you kidding me? That was basically the same spot where that other one was. That was like I just hit a brick wall. That was, oh yes, got one, got one. Oh my gosh, I'm about to fall over. Ugh. This one's a baby. Yeah, that's really definitely a baby that's like tiny but we are catching them we are catching them i mean that is definitely a baby this grub is like small as it is like that bass is so small but he was fun definitely not the one who just hit me like a freight train but it is bass so i will take it One. Oh, another one same spot oh it's another baby goodness gracious why are they all so small there's big fish in here I've caught like an 8 pounder in here like I don't know what the deal is but I guess it's good that there's healthy 
young fish in here that are active in feeding. I mean, he's a healthy little dude. Another little one on the grill. That's three so far. I've only been fishing for maybe 10, 15 minutes, so should be a good day. This is the first spot I've hit. Still got the whole rest of the pond, so we'll see. In case you guys were wondering, this is a Zoom twirl tail grub. I think that they might call it like the Fat Albert grub or something maybe. I'm not really sure, but I've just got that on a little jig head. I have no idea what brand this is, but it's just a little light jig head. It's like a 3 16 or a quarter ounce. And I just throw it out there and just reel it back on a slow retrieve. And usually they just smoke it. This is a great winter and fall lure. It really looks like a shad and you can fish it slow, fish it fast. You can hop it off the bottom and swim it. But today I'm just swimming it right over top of this grass and they're munching it. So we're gonna keep doing it. Dang nabbit. Come on, Jimmy, get out there. I think that they're stacked out there. I just can't cast to them all the way. So I'm gonna make one more cast down here in this corner. Then I'm gonna move on up. They're migrating, folks. Going down river. Just kidding, this isn't a river, this is a pond. But same thing, whatever. Okay, we're gonna use the spinnerbait first. See if it'll do any good. Then we'll go back with that grub. But I feel like the bigger bite is definitely gonna come on this spinnerbait, so I'm gonna throw that. tried to hit it right there because my spinnerbait just like tracked sideways this skirt is about to be retired this thing is like worn out got those spinnerbait some more oh come on that was a bite. That was a bite, definitely. Right in the grass. Way out there. And here comes the rain again. Oh, I got a giant. I got a giant. I got a giant. Oh my gosh, I got a giant. I got a giant. That's him. That's an eight pounder. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What do I have? I don't think it's a bass. I think I got a carp. If that's a bass, it's huge. Oh my gosh, it is a bass. It is a bass. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh, guys. That's him. That's him. That's him. Oh! Yes! Look at that fish! <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh it is pouring down rain and i just caught this fish oh my goodness guys that fish is so fat oh my gosh oh my look my spinnerbait just fell out oh my goodness my spinnerbait just fell out that's how lightly he was hooked oh my goodness oh my goodness Look at how chunky that bass is. Oh my gosh. That's a six pounder, guys. That's a six pounder. Whew. Oh, it's been a while since I've caught one of these big beauties. And there she is right there on this terrible day. This just proves to you guys, you get out in this terrible element, you can catch fish like this. You just got to go out and go fishing. Whew. This is a look at that big old bass right there. Look at how chunky that fish is. I'm trying to stay out of the rain right here, so I've got some decent audio, but that is a massive fish. His mouth isn't even that big. He's just so fat. Back right where I caught her, got her on that spinner bait. Such a healthy fish, oh my goodness. So fat. Every bit of six pounds, guys. Every bit of it. Oh my gosh, she's ready to go, look at her. Whew. That's crazy. This is so hard to record. I'm sorry if this is like terrible quality, but it's so hard to record with this rain. I'm trying my best, I promise. Right in that grass, she hit me like a freight train. It was crazy. She just nuked it and it was it was game on. 
I knew I had a big one. I thought it was bigger than six. I thought I had like an eight pounder, but I will take a six pounder all day out here in this nasty weather. Well, I uh, think I'm gonna keep throwing this spinner bait for a little bit longer right there in the grass. I did have a bite out there that was like a really good bite. Threw it back out there and that big girl ate it. So they might be stacked out there. That could have been the same fish. I really don't know, but we're gonna we're gonna try our best to get another one of those. I see a big old carp. Big old carp. I got one. I got one. Is that a bass? Yep. Thought it was a crappy. He was so white. This one right here is definitely not as fat as the big boy that we caught. That was kind of weird too. That cast, I was like trying to mess around with the carp and I actually ended up catching one. So yeah, that's, that's cool. Another little one. Definitely not what we're looking for, but still fun, fun fish to catch. Thanks, buddy. I'm going to go up to this second pond, but I am going to come over here and make a couple casts where I caught that big one at. Make a couple more casts over here. Because why not? Might as well. If I caught a big one right here, might as well just cast again. It can't hurt. Oh my, oh my gosh, that was another good one. That was another good one. That was definitely a good one. And he just jacked up my spinner bait too. This thing right here is like done. Like this spinner bait, the spinner bait is actually fine, but the trailer is just like done. That fish just freaking smoked it right there. Like about took the rod out of my hand. I was not expecting that. Oh my goodness. Why? Oh, there he is. There he is. I got him. That's a good, what, two pounder? He's not even two pounds. But he was fighting like it. I will tell you that right now. He bit it. That's for sure. Okay. That's our, I guess that's our second biggest fish today. Which is kind of sad because he's like a pound. But he's healthy. He's fat. He's chunky. Another one on that spinnerbait. The spinnerbait is getting it done today. Getting it done. I don't even know how many fish that is. I've lost count. Maybe like six, seven. I have no idea. But caught another one at the spot where we caught the big one. Okay. We're going to move on down. And... Might make a couple casts down here in this corner, but I want to go up to this top pond. There's some giants in there. They're hard to catch, but there is some giants up there. So we'll see what happens. They don't see you. Chaz's got one. I was in the process of turning on my camera and he caught one. That's not bad. It's a healthy fish. I actually changed angles and he came out here. He just like pulled up, but nice healthy fish. Not bad. He's a lot darker than the ones I've been catching. But I was over there earlier. That's where I caught the big one where he just cast it at like over here. So they're still in that grass. Pro just died, boys and girls. But we're still gonna catch them. They're biting. I forgot my charger on spare bait. Dude, I thought he was a giant. 
Can't even get the iPhone out quick enough. Literally, we just caught like Two, three, three, three and three casts. Like a little, what's wrong with his tail? Uh, what the just... heck? Oh my goodness. No, it's two different tails, dude. It's like you he think? grew two tails. It broke off, and this part started growing separately from this. Got like a little. What the heck? How good is he? He's at least two, two pounder, at least. I guess they like that chartreuse and white better than mine because you're getting more bites than I am. Jeez, that's not a bad one at all. Nah, he's hit like a freak. He is thing. healthy. Has he got a belly to him? Yeah, he does, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Smacking it on the. I think it's a war eagle. That's definitely a war eagle spinnerbait. I don't even know what mine is, but I think this one's working better than mine. I, I don't really know. But let's go ahead and get this, get this baby back in. There she goes. You guys can see that fish just swam off. This is like so clear. It's this never, water is so clear. It's never this clear, ever. So, it's crazy. That is it for the video today, guys. Did end up catching them pretty good today, even though it was terrible weather, terrible conditions. Still fun to get out there to the pond, go catch some. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. I know a lot of you guys love these big bass videos, so I'm gonna keep trying to catch all the big bass because who doesn't like to catch big bass? I mean, it's fun. So I'm going to keep trying to post these as much as I can. This winter should be good because in the winter, the big girls eat. So this winter should be good. But if you guys did enjoy today's video, go ahead make sure to leave me a like and go ahead and hit the subscribe button because I'm going to be posting a lot more stuff exactly like this. Also a lot of new stuff, thinking about getting into some aquariums and stuff like that. So leave me a comment below on what you guys want to see and I'll do it for all of you guys. So thank you again so much for all the support and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Go catch them.